We interrupt your programming. This is a national emergency. Yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Jess Huddleston, and I am a senior producer with CBC Music, and I am here to do something very exciting. I'm going to reveal the top 10 songs of CBC Music's top 100 Canadian songs of the year list. Let's get into it, we've waited long enough. Kicking us off at number 10 is William Prince with his gorgeous ballad, The Spark. The Manitoba country artist had a huge year this year, performing this song as part of the Stronger Together COVID-19 benefit concert. Tons of fans who hadn't heard of him yet heard his performance of this song and were hooked. Coming in oh so hot at number nine is Curtis Waters with Stunnin'. So ice on my neck, that's incoming. I'm a pretty boy, I'm stunning. This disco-y, suave pop song did what any song should do in 2020. It found its way onto TikTok, where people ate it up. Allow me to slow things down for just one second to talk about number eight, which is J.P. Sachs and his real-life girlfriend, Julia Michaels, and their crushing duet, If the World Was Ending. And I know you know we know you went down for forever and it's fine. This song was popularized right around the same time that we were learning more about the pandemic and what it was going to mean for all of us. And to some, it did kind of feel like the world was ending. So enter this song, a beautiful duet, which made us want to clutch our loved ones just a little bit tighter. All our fears would be irrelevant. Number seven goes to former Polaris Music Prize winner Lido Pimienta and her stunning song, S.O.K. Tu Esses, off her album, Miss Columbia. S.O.K. Tu Esses. 2020 was definitely a year where we couldn't move as freely as many of us are used to. So listening to music like Lido's that takes you out of your four walls and into her lush, colorful world was beyond powerful. Number six is none other than Haley Baldwin's husband, otherwise known as Justin Bieber, The Biebs, his friend Quavo, and their song Intentions. Picture perfect, you don't need no filter. No filter. Or just make them drop dead, you a killer. This song Intentions is bona fide pop gold, whether you like him or not. And it is yet another declaration of his very big, very public love for his wife Haley. Number five, halfway there, we have just a pop banger from Charlotte Cardin called Passive Aggressive. If you've listened to Charlotte Cardin before this single, you might remember her more for kind of slow burning moody pop. Not on this song, she kicks things up a notch, telling her ex Number four, we have such an important, incredible song, 24, the Toronto remix from Toby. But it's not just Toby, it's also a gaggle of his very cool friends. He has Havaya Mighty, Shad, Jazz Cartier, and Edgy Smith making hip hop history with him. You may want to debate me and tweet me about this one, but as far as I'm concerned, this song is the most explosive Canadian hip hop collaboration since 1998's Northern Touch. Number three is Kay Trinata and Kali Uchis with 10%. Trinata is another past Polaris Prize winner, say that 10 times fast, and he's doing what he does best here. He's infusing soul and funk into dance music, and even though it's going to be a minute until we can get back in the club, this is one of those songs that's going to get you grooving no matter where you are. Number two, let's slow things down for one second before we get to that final spot and make room for Jessie Reyes and her song, Love in the Dark. Cause when the stars are falling down, there's love in the dark. Jesse Reyes' 2020 album Before Love Came to Kill Us was a very eclectic mixed bag of goodies. But we think she shines best on songs like this. It's pure, 
It's raw, it's vulnerable, it's just Jesse with strings and piano. And during a very strange year, a song like this, a song that made us feel a little bit less alone, was pretty welcome. The number one song on CBC Music's Top 100 Canadian Songs of the Year list is none other than The Weeknd with Blinding Lights. This song had it all. Viral dances, truly insane live performances, and an 80s beat that just wouldn't quit. It went on to become the number one Hot 100 song of the year, the number one streamed song of the year on Spotify, therefore solidifying it as an instant pop classic. We do not care what the Grammys have to say, Blinding Lights absolutely stole the show in 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in everyone for the full list of our top 100 songs of the year. You can go to cbcmusic.ca and you can also tune in on New Year's Day to a fantastic radio special on CBC Music hosted by Grant Lawrence. See you next year.